Economic challenges are a constant struggle among indigenous people, yet they are always adapting new ways to survive. One of the modes that many rural communities are adopting as a means of economic sustenance is the selling of products through the fair trade market. By tapping into the fair trade market, indigenous people can use their unique skills and preserve their cultural traditions along with generating a source of supplemental income. So they're doing this in their free time after they, they start making it. My Mexico field work experience allowed me to see firsthand how women were joining forces in their communities and forming cooperatives to create and harvest goods to be sold in the fair trade market. There were certain ways these rural women were benefiting from fair trade co-ops. Often, indigenous people are forced to migrate to find work. These women were able to generate income without leaving their community. The women at the El Moral Sewing Cooperative were able to stay at home to tend to their children, the animals, crops, and maintain a sense of community and cultural heritage in the process. The entire concept of fair working conditions and egalitarian ownership of business was efficiently implemented out in these rural communities. However, the women's businesses are facing hardships due to minimal ability to market and advertise their products in such fierce global competition. Women from the basket weaving co-op in Senegia are having difficulties selling their baskets. Chinese baskets are being imported to Mexico and selling at extremely low prices. Foreign competition is driving the local artisans out of business. The most pressing issue for the Mexican women's fair trade cooperatives is finding a reliable market for selling their products.